Okay, hi guys and welcome to today's show. Today we are going to finally be reviewing the Airman, the Glycine Airman, a real iconic, legendary timepiece. And this is the 22nd uh, generation, hence the name uh, Base 22 is the particular model we're looking at. So the name actually derives from uh, being this 22nd generation and I think the word base is in reference to air base. Obviously it's, a, it's an aviation watch with a huge legacy uh, in the Vietnam War being worn by pilots all the rest of it. We'll get into that in just a moment. I should do my customary wristwatch check and you're probably wondering why am I wearing a jumper after it being 80 degrees the other day. Well it's taken a bit of a turn for the worse here. It's got quite chilly today um, so I had to get my jumper out just as you, you, know, you start packing away the winter clothes. Uh, so, quick wristwatch check. I am in fact wearing the Citizen. This is the little Promaster. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. This is the little Promaster that did the tour with the uh, watch group. Um, and big thank you to everybody. I'm really loving this watch. Uh, it's it's such a nice size. It's. Um, I think we finally got a contender for the SKX. This is actually been worn by the Italian Navy and is really recognized uh, by divers. So possibly a new contender for the entry level diver watch. Uh, who knows, we'll stay tuned for that. It's very, very exciting and I'm absolutely loving this watch. Thank you to everybody who put money together for the little tour. Splendid idea and I just can't wait to review it. I might, I'm gonna give it another week or two just to you know get a general impression of the watch but so far I'm absolutely I love it I absolutely love it it's gorgeous it's it's got a whole character of its own anyway wristwatch check done let's get back to the uh, point of this whole video <laughs> I get distracted by watches but anyway uh, let's switch perspectives now and have a closer look at this iconic watch from Glycine ah damn it my hands not it's too cold my hands are not working Today we are reviewing the Glycine Airman. Now this is not just any ordinary uh, Airman, this is quite a recent uh, release. It came out in 2014. Uh, but actually the Airman is quite a historic and iconic watch in its own right. Uh, its history goes all the way back to the post-war period uh, in the 1950s. Glycine itself is a highly uh, overlooked brand. They were founded in 1914 in Bienne, Switzerland by Eugene uh, Melan and they started off basically doing uh, very accurate uh, precise movements uh, for ladies watches and this is in about the early part of the century and then in the 1930s they started launching their own chronometer watches and of course the 1940s the war happened and then after the war they, they managed to make it through, the, uh, through that period that's basically when the original Airman uh, was released in 1953 and subsequently was um, the first one was a three-hander uh, with a bezel with an extra 24 hour time zone on the bezel and it was specifically designed for pilots and it became uh, embraced by the chopper pilots and the uh, airplane pilots uh, from um, the mid 50s all the way up until the mid 70s had quite a cult following especially the American uh, Air Force the Airman, as the name suggests, of course, is, is a watch designed to keep multiple time zones specifically for pilots. And in fact, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but the Airman was also worn by Gemini 5 astronaut Pete Copper in 1965. He actually, there's a picture of him actually wearing it on the same wrist along with the iconic Speedmaster, the Omega Speedmaster. So quite a lot of history and heritage there and a lot of people really aren't aware. So a very iconic watch in its own right. So uh, today we've got something a little bit different. We've actually got the one of the newest incarnations and this is the Base 22. Now this is the third version of the 22, Base 22 re release. 
uh, the first uh, version came out, I think it was in about 2010, with a white dial stainless steel case. And then in uh, Basel World 2014, uh, this particular model came out as well as a really, really cool, the, what they've called the mystery one, which is entirely black PVD with a black dial. This is the Luminous. Now, this also came out in 2014. Now, the reference number for this is 388795SL. Now, the Luminous, as you guys uh, can probably imagine, it's in reference to its entirely luminescent dial, which is, <laughs> guys, this is one of the coolest loomed dials I've ever seen. And this thing is just like a flashlight. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Of course, the printing is all in black and, and it, it actually behaves in reverse uh, to what normal luminescent would do. Instead of having the loom applied to the markers, it's the entire background and the actual markers and um, numerals are kind of act like a silhouette if you will now of course this has the gmt hand which you'll see there in red the very first uh, base 22 did not have uh, the gmt hand before you'd keep track uh, you'd be able to keep track of two time zones with the three hands but now with this fourth extra gmt hands you can keep track of uh, three time zones so we'll go through the dimensions first of all and i must point out that my calipers have sellotape on the end deliberately so not to damage the finishing so we got a diameter there of 42 millimeters when I did the unboxing I was astounded by its thinness it's a lovely really slender 11 millimeters thick you'll see the loom already glowing and it's not even dark in here just from the light from the window uh, with 50 millimeters lug to lug a lug width of just under 22 but it's a, it fits a 22 so that's the dimensions um, I'm, I've got to admit we'll do a wrist shot in a little while but because of its slenderness uh, it is a 42 it's quite a wide dial a lot of it's taken up by the actual dial itself and the bezel is quite small as well it really does wear like a 40 but we'll get into that in just a moment with the wrist shot now before we start discussing all the features we we've just got to see that limb shot so uh, i'm going to change now and you're going to see uh, probably the most incredible <laughs> loom shot i've ever featured on the channel uh, it's an absolute loom monster so uh, let's have a look at that right now as you can see it is and the undisputed loom king <laughs> of the channel absolutely amazing so everything is working in reverse the indices and numerals they're all silhouetted uh, rather than being the actual loom which uh, it works really really well the only drawback is of course is that um, this thing <laughs> will really give your position away but um, I can imagine if you're a jet fighter pilot or something it would just look fantastic uh, in the cockpit it's a shame the uh, the date is not also loomed uh, that would be really really cool but I guess you can't have everything but guys this is phenomenal really really outstanding loom uh, it's uh, equally spread works for ages what more can I say all right back to the studio okay welcome back guys so as you can see incredible absolutely incredible let's start off by looking at the dial itself we have this kind of slightly kind of greeny yellowy luminescent dial that, that that's determined the color uh, it's not really white it's not really it's a very faint kind of green that you know uh, that you'll see in the loom we have the hands are all very simple there's no loom applied to the hands because obviously they it's just used like a silhouette but what you use to determine the time is the shape of that silhouette so we have a little pedal um, second hand and then a very thin slender for the GMT hand and then hour and minutes we have a date at three o'clock which is done in negative which is nice because I think it's kind of fitting to its kind of militaristic look we have going around the outside 24 hour time uh, for your first well your second time zone then we have obviously have we have minutes on the inside with the indices for the hours and then on the bezel you'll notice we have a second 24 hour indices now the bezel is a really interesting aspect of the watch it's accessed here by a second crown at four o'clock which has this beautiful hatch pattern on it uh, the, the main crown at three o'clock 
is slightly smaller. This is to change the time uh, and to wind and all the rest of it. Uh, so we'll just discuss the bezel first of all, and it's a beautifully done thing. We have if we, we unscrew this, and the little thing loosens this this little teeth here, and you're able to change your third time zone. The action to it is beautifully. It's like butter. It's really really done nicely. So let's say you decided to keep track of a particular time zone. You just put it into place and then you lock it down with this little teeth here that fit into place on the, um, the little cog edge of the bezel and it acts in it acts beautifully because not only is it better to grip but also it, it locks firmly into place and this I think is a highly overlooked little feature it would be great on a dive watch um, this of course is unidirectional the actual markers are indentations with little bit of kind of grey paint just to finish it off beautifully done the finishing on the case it's completely stainless steel but as you would imagine it is uh, PVD coated and the PVD is wonderful absolutely gorgeous we've got a kind of high polish on the finish and then matted on the top matted on the, on the bezel uh, really really nicely done it comes on this fantastic NATO strap with an actual uh, sewn in holes for the uh, for the tongue assigned PVD buckle to matching and actually if we take the, the NATO off and of course drilled lug holes as well you'll notice that there's a display back and they've even PVD the movement which is <laughs> astounding I've never seen anything like it it's really quite so they they it's I guess you could say it's been decorated. It's, it's a bit hard to see, but beautiful engraved image of an aeroplane. There's a Cote de Genève finishing, and everything is, I mean, everything is PVD covered. It's, it's, it's quite astonishing. I've never seen this before. Absolutely amazing. We have a screw down case back with a, I think this is actually acrylic glass and the main glass here is sapphire, uh, which is absolutely fine because this is actually going to be protected by a NATO strap or if it's on your wrist, obviously it's not going to get scratched that much. Uh, it's just phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. It's I mean, it's, it, it's the camera is finding it difficult to actually <laughs> to actually uh, get a get it to focus on it because it's it's just so dark in there and um, but it's fantastic I, it's a really nice touch of course all the details are all, all uh, inscribed on the back 20 ATM as you can see there which is 200 meters which is absolutely fantastic you could dive with this absolutely fine you know and certainly with the dial it would really be cool there is the mystery one which I, I, I almost bought which is entirely black um, but the only pop of colour really is the red 24 numerals there base 22 and then 12 as well and the red hand so it's a little uh, very very militaristic um, and the design really hasn't changed that much I, I like it because it's subtle it's obviously an airman at first glance and we of course we've got the glycine crown there which is beautifully done matching the um the crown on the actual crown the crown on the crown it's just so in keeping and indicative of the airman you can't mistake it but at the same time they've really brought it up to date with this with this really cool uh, contemporary finishing staying true to the original design but yet not messing it up because it could have gone so wrong there are a ton of versions and guys I'll leave a link in the description below uh, there is a really great online book in PDF uh, format of the entire catalog of every single airman and you can see the evolution from all the chronographs from the very very first ones they've even got some of the um, extremely rare and sought-after ones and you can really see how they've evolved over time. 
all the way up to the current models like this one. Absolutely astounding. I mean, what a rich history and really, really cool. So anyway, back to this particular watch. We should discuss the movement. And this is the ETA 2892-2, which is their top version. Uh, this, of course, is modified by glycine. And glycine actually refer to it as the, uh, the GL293 which of course is a Swiss fully automatic movement. You unscrew the crown, it's got a screw down crown to the first position. The first position is manual wind, obviously. Uh, and it's very kind of silky and smooth and, and what you'd expect with this particular uh, higher grade of ETA. It's a 21 joule movement. It operates at uh, 28 1800 vibrations per hour there is finishing as you saw on the uh, the ball bearing it's rhodium coated with uh, uh, decorated with Cote de Genève and uh, the entire thing is is PVD coated I don't know how they did that I've never seen it before you pull the crown out to the uh, first position for winding the second position changes the GMT hand it just jumps every hour, every time, uh, when you wind forward. And then when you wind down, we see there, when you wind down, it changes the date. Pull out to the third position, and then you can change the main uh, hands there. Of course, it's hackable, as you see the second hand stopped. And you'll see the GMT hand moving in... Um, in a, a slightly slower to the hour hand obviously uh, and it just just changed over the date there and then you just pop it in all the way and threads beautifully even with gloves on really nice and easy to do so there's a 42 hour power reserve on this particular movement and it's what you'd come to expect it's a great solid reliable ETA movement in there or ETA or however you want to pronounce it and uh, you know it's it's affordable to uh, service, but it, you know it's not gonna it's not gonna cost a fortune to run. It's high, very reliable. Its timekeeping is impeccable. Uh, I'm getting about plus four. Let's do a quick wrist shot. Okay, and here we are, guys. Now, as you can see, uh, on my tiny little wrist, it wears really, really well. Mainly because it's so slender. In fact, if you were in a strap, it would wear even thinner because obviously you've got the extra uh, bit of material from the NATO strap. I love it. It, it. It's very tempting to me to, to buy this as my GMT piece. It ticks a lot of boxes. It's got heritage. It um, performs well. It's got a design that is truly unique. I love its kind of utilitarian down to business look. It's got this very strong military aesthetic and also you know, it's it's got that romance, it's got that heritage to it, it's got that history. It's very rare that, um, you know, a mid to kind of entry level luxury, It's I wouldn't say it's luxury, but it's kind of the higher of the mid range. Uh, it's very rare that you see a watch that has as much heritage as a glycine. It's incredibly comfortable, I think mainly because of these lugs that kind of hug the wrist and also it's being so thin it's just you don't even notice it my only slight criticism is i would have wished the band to be a 20 i think 22 is a bit over the top i really i really dislike big thick straps it's one thing on a brightling navi timer this huge buckle it just kind of diminishes the refinement a little bit but it's not a watch designed to be refined it's it's a tool watch you know it's designed for function and it just screams function i i love its kind of tool aesthetic you know with these extra crowns it looks complicated but yet it's so functional it is kind of busy but at the same time it's not it's it's a very it's a very strange watch uh, if you really analyze it it's i i like the little you know the differences in the uh, indices the little triangle at the bottom and um, all these little things that have kind of uh, evolved over the generations of airman uh, that have really kind of finessed its use uh, over the decades you know it, it's a hybrid of everything that's gone before um, i do love the finishing it's definitely a step up from the combat sub which is you know around about a thousand dollars you know these little beveled edges the finishing definitely 
Actually, let's get the uh, let's get the combat sub in there just for for a quick look. The combat sub is a lot of a simpler watch. In fact, I might take this mesh and put it on there. But yeah, it's it's definitely a step up. It's uh, a whole different league, to be honest. This is this is um, a far better watch and far more iconic too so a big success with me i mean the only there's very it's it's very difficult to find anything wrong with this any faults my only criticism i just wish the strap would have been smaller i think it's too overpowering for this sleek slender design i love it i really do love this watch i'm I, i'm so tempted to buy one of these but i've got to be strong uh, if i'm to get my uh, rolex gmt but this definitely would be a worthy alternative in many ways it's uh, it's a better alternative because it's far more unique. It, you don't really see so many about, and also it's a it's a lot more understated. I mean, the non-luminous version with the well, it has got luminescence, but the black dial version is is very tempting to me. Uh, but anyway, a massive success in my opinion for glycine and glycine and again. I'm so happy I've, I've been looking at this brand. It's just something so special and unique and, and very, very overlooked, to be honest. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Let's take it back to the studio. Okay, welcome back, guys. So, the Glycine Air, man. What do you guys think? Please share your opinions down below. Uh, now, bear in mind, there are a ton of variations. Houdinki did a very cool article on a stunning little 36mm version that was much more kind of... Uh, going back to the very first ones in its kind of retro styling uh, the base 22 is a lot more contemporary uh, but that's the great thing about the glycine air man there's, there's so many different versions for all different tastes but at the end of the day it's still that very utilitarian functional tooly design and it's unique it, it really is unique i've been looking for a good gmt for a long long time i've got to be strong i'm you know, I'm very tempted by the Airman, I've got to admit, and uh, I came this close to pulling the trigger on one not so long ago. I think the all black, the mystery version, I think is really, really sexy and very kind of different. And, and But, you know, I've got to be strong. I've got to hold out for my Rolex GMT. Um, but I think the Airman would be my second choice. But anyway, thoughts, queries, questions, opinions, all the rest of it down below. Oh, and before I go... Just gotta say, if you are interested in this watch, uh, this uh, this particular one has been lent in but from Saltzman's. They are the only authorized uh, repair center for glycine in North America. And I've got to get this right because I uh, I said they offer 30% off if you mention the show, but it's 30% off the retail uh, the MSRP the uh, the retail price. So if you mention the show and you're interested in the glycine ammo, go to Saltzman's and you will get 30% off just by mentioning this channel or me. Uh, now, I realize you can get glycine watches from overseas for a little bit less, but you're not getting that security. If you're buying from overseas and there's a problem with it, how are you gonna send it back? It really is worth spending a little bit more. You still get a discount by watching the show, but it's worth getting spending a little bit more buying from Saltzman's. They are trusted. Family, you know, you're supporting a fa American family-owned business since you know they've been great. I bought my little, my little. It's not that little. I bought my combat sub off them, and they're just fantastic. They are absolutely fantastic. Anyway, guys, uh, I really can't recommend them enough. And you know, let's support American business. Do you, you know, let's. I know it's a Swiss brand, but let's support uh, an authorized dealer here in the United States and also you can get a further discount if you are in the armed forces and you can prove it you can get a further discount at Saltzman's uh, which is absolutely fantastic and I believe um, that I think there is quite a big I'm not sure if it's a naval base or, or an aircraft or an air base near Rhode Island where they are but I they when I was talking to them they, they said that they have a huge military following so they do offer discounts for active uh, service personnel. So guys, if you are in the armed forces, uh, you can get even, even more of this guy. A lot to go through. I can't recommend Saltzman's enough. I'll leave a link to this particular model down in the description. You can order online, put a deposit down. They're very, very understanding, very easy to work with, reputable, great business. Thank you so much to Saltzman's for lending me this, trust, entrusting me with the watch. 
Um, guys, if there are any other watches on their website that you want me to take a look at, have a look at their website and just shoot me an email or add in the comments down below which of their watches you want me to review. I will be more than happy to do that if I get enough requests, obviously. So please share that down below in the comments. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me that like. If you enjoyed it, find it useful, it really does help me. So please don't forget to do that. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, guys. Ciao.